I'm not sure if it's a good time now, but I, if I have a wife, right? Mm -hmm. And she think I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she like, I mean, I know it's like, I thought y'all, I thought y'all was crazy too. You know, everybody. You everybody know, think we crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but I'm Our wives are crazy. We know this. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was not, it was, you never heard nothing like this. So you normally go with the crowd, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so you know it. And uh, based on what I taught, you know, I just feel like what I thought was true. I stuck to it, you know, I didn't want to deviate from it, but right. I'm glad that God did a complete circle and brought me back around. And uh, so I'm just like, uh, y'all can just pray for me with my family. Uh, well, certainly. Uh, wife just took the kids from me. Uh, man. Yeah, man. Uh, give, me that, give me the end of Job. Give, give me the end of Job. Bubba Kassar. You good, brother. You good. Get, um, give me, uh, he that loses, uh, a, a wife and children shall receive sevenfold. And give me the end of Job. Hey, get that nephew on. Is that what I'm thinking of? He that loses, uh, mother, Matthew father, and children? Is that what that is? Tenfold. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Is that Matthew 28? Who is it? No, no, no. That's Matthew 20. No, Matthew 28. Oh, Matthew 19. Matthew 19? Yeah, yeah. Are you talking to the site? Did she just say? I know she didn't just say what I thought she said. Matthew 19. You know what? Matthew 19, 29. A younger Matati with a snap. You got it? Okay, come on. You got that at the end of the joke? No, he got that Matthew. He got that Matthew. This is what I want about how he had wives and daughters. Give me that. Matthew chapter 19, verse 29. Uh -huh. Everyone that has forsaken house, uh -huh. or brethren, uh -huh. or sisters, uh -huh. or father, right. or mother, or wife, or what? Or wife, uh -huh. or children, right. or, or, or land, for my name's sake, uh -huh. shall receive a uh, hundredfold and shall inherit the we That's gonna, right. We're going to lose things, brother. I, lo I lost the wife, man. She left, she left me. No, you good, brother. Look. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it's easy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just, you know, Joe, it happens. You know, you know, I'm being tried. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I went through the wilderness. Uh, it, it's still, you know it's, it's, it's still going to hurt, brother. It's still going to hurt. Anyway, it, and, get, and guess what? You got to understand. We gonna go. We gonna throw through a lot of hell. I'm not saying this ain't this ain't this just the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Well, Absolutely. God, who knows what else will happen? Bro. Exactly. Hey, Hold for me in Sirach. Hold for that in You got that? This is a book. Yeah. This is the book of Job, chapter 42, verse 10. Uh huh. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Wait, the Lord did what? He turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And we're waiting for the Lord to turn our captivity here. Go ahead. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. As he what? As twice as much as he had before. Read. Then came there unto him all his brethren uh -huh. and all his sisters, uh -huh. and they that had been of his acquaintance before, uh -huh. and did eat bread with him in his house. Uh -huh. And they bemoaned, they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. The Lord's gonna bring evil upon us, man. Mm -hmm. Even look, we still go through shit. Right. It don't, it don't matter where you if you in the beginning, the middle, or the end of your walk. If it is the end of your walk. The Lord gonna put you through some shit. Oh yeah. Read. Every man also gave him a piece of money. Uh -huh. And every one an earring, yeah, earring of gold. Uh -huh. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning, mm -hmm. for he had fourteen thousand sheep and six thousand camels and a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she asses. Uh -huh. He had also seven sons and three daughters, and he called the name of the first Jemima. In the name of the second, Keziah. Uh -huh. In the name of the third, Kernap, Kernahap. Uh, Kerenapitch. 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 <laughs> and in all the land were no woman found so fair as the daughters of Job. Uh -huh. And their father gave them inheritance among their brethren. Uh -huh. After this lived Job in 140 years and saw his sons and his sons' sons even four generations. So Job died being an old fool of days. So even though that he went through it, he never forsook the Most High. He obeyed the Most High. Even uh -huh. The Most High had to G-check him real quick because the Most High requires us to be men. Right. He requires that. He know he's going to put you through some shit. And in short, you got to be a man about it, right. uh, unfortunately. Yeah. Right? And that don't, mean that, it don't, that don't mean that we can't hurt. 
Right. That don't mean that we can't shed tears. That don't mean we can't reach out to our brother and be like, hey, bro, I'm, I'm going through it right now. You feel me? Right. We got to be able to do that with one another. If we can't do that with one another, who else we got? Right. We ain't got nobody else but each other. Right. It's us, the most high, and his son who the world is about Christ. That's all we got, bro. This is all that we got. So we got to be able to get with one another and, and actually be able to, to lean on one another. You feel me? So when you're going through this walk, you're going to go through it. And guess what? Just like how gold is trying to find souls acceptable men. Give me that. Oh, so I rap chapter two, I'm starting verse five. No, because gold is trying to fire. So lock it, no. Actually, you know what? Start at verse one. This, oh. this is one of my favorite chap this is one of my favorite verses in the Bible. Alright, it's direct chapter two, verse one. Uh -huh. My son, that thou comfortest the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. That's what you gotta do right now. Prepare your soul for temptation, man. Right. Also known as the book of Ecclesiastes. Because guess what? First thing you gotta do. Because like I said, I gave you a, a, a good way to at least attempt to try to try to uh, keep the Passover for yourself. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, you will get tried to see if you're going to do it or not. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Start right after the verse 2. Set that heart aright and constantly endure. And do what? And constantly endure. You got to constantly endure, man. We're going to fall. We're going to get... Look, I've gotten punched in the face with a ring hand for doing this shit. <laughs> I've gotten punched in the face with a ring I got sucker punched for doing this shit, man. And you know what I did right after that? I can't go and talk the word of the Lord with blood leaking from my mouth, man. And that's not to, that's not to absolve me any kind of way. Right. But you gotta endure. You gotta endure some bullshit, some harsh shit, and even some stuff where you really gotta think about it. Like you gonna question yourself, and it's at the time that you reach out to a brother so that way they can pick you up. Go ahead. Uh, and may not haste in time of trouble. When you when you in a bad state, the the worst thing that we can do is make a rash decision. That is the worst thing that we can do. Especially when we hot tempered and we mad, oh, yeah. we heated. Oh yeah. We gonna wait. We, we we tempted to make some bad decisions. Don't do that. Don't make a rash decision when you in trouble. Yeah. Sit down and be calm and relax. I've, that's something I have to talk, teach myself vigorously. You know what happened every time I find myself in a tough spot? I just sat there. I was like, all right. One of the, one of the few things that happened. Either a, I fucked up somewhere. B, I'm being chastened for something I did. Right. C. I, either way, I fucked up somewhere. Yeah. Let, let me just sit here. <laughs> and you don't know which way. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what I did. It don't matter. I'm wrong. Right. And whatever it is, I'm wrong. Either and way. Then I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna wait patiently, and I'm gonna keep moving forward. And you know what happened every time? The Lord made it pan out perfect. Oh. No, matter, no matter what the result was, it panned out the way it should, and I was no longer troubled by whatever situation it was. Go ahead. Uh, verse three. Cleave unto him and depart not away. Uh -huh. That thou mayest be increased at thy end. Cleave unto him. When, when just like I said, reach out to a brother, reach out to the most high. The officer just done, he gave a beautiful breakdown a couple weeks ago. So like, for example, say you got a lady and you know, you, you love her, y'all together, whatnot. She go off for like six days. You ain't hear nothing from her. No text, no phone call, no none of that shit. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, you get a phone call. You say, baby, I need some money. Where you been? What you mean you need some money? You can't call me, you can't text me, you can't do none of that. It's the way, same thing with most of our people with the most high. I, I'm gonna just go to church on Sunday. I'm doing that. The, when the last time you talked to your man? The most high is supposed to be a husband on to us. When the last time you talked to your man? When the last time you called and say, hey, checking in, you know what I'm saying? Miss you. You know, I'm, I'm going through a little something right now, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep your guidance that you gave me. I'm going to see if I can't navigate through it. Talk to your man, bro. Right. Cleave unto him, right. especially when you're in a time of trouble. Right. Don't just do it when you're in trouble. Right. Do it before you're in trouble, after when you're having a good day, an okay day. You know what you're saying? Where you, where you, you know, was just in a situation where you just got some food? Mm -hmm. Thank him, man. Right. That's what we got to do. We got to talk to our man. Go ahead. Right, verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Do what? Take, take cheerfully. cheerfully. No matter what we're going through, it's going to be some BS. Yeah, guess what? The Lord, the Lord loves them who he chats it. So when we going through some shit, we're like, well, he loved me. I can't, I can't be mad. You know, especially like, man, because look, when you, there's a there's an age-old expression. When you, when you, when you doing everything wrong, the devil don't mess with you. But when you start doing everything right, you know who come to fuck with you? The devil. It's like, oh, you know what? Give me that joke. Give me joke one. Give me joke just, just to show it. Just, just to showcase it. Just, go for it. Why when I started coming to this the truth and everything, all hell broke me, you know, right? And 
literally, I got hit. I didn't know what balls was until uh, I got hit with balls. Woo! And I don't wish it on my worst enemy. Mm. Like, I couldn't sit down. Yep. It covered my, like, it started with one. I'm like, what is this? And as you know, the whole body got covered. Yep. And that's how I knew, I was like, I thought I was getting chastised. And it was like, but I wasn't doing that wrong. I was just doing everything I could to, in my, in my best ability that I was doing at that time was doing right. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and that's why sometimes I, I, I wore it. She's like, that's my wife, my even told me this before. That's why you got hit with boils. I'm like, get the, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. We got to read it. We got to fucking read it. You start with saying we go in the verse. We, we going to keep going. <laughs> I'm like, that's what we got to read it. Something I, Cause I'm doing something wrong. I'm like, Nope. And I'm confused and like, you know, uh -huh. and, you know. And guess what? Had you as like, okay, obviously I might, me trying to go this way is wrong. Let me continue what I'm doing. That's what Satan would have wanted. That's, that, that's the temptation. That, that's, that, that's that fire. Pretty much what you did, you held you your hand over a little hot fire. That's what you did. You found out it burned a little bit. But you know what you kept doing? It looks like you kept holding your hand over the fire and you kept going in the fire. Watch this. Come on, uh, uh, go to where uh, the sons of the Lord, the sons of the, the sons of the Lord. Uh, is there? Start at four. This is a Verse six. Start verse six. This is the book of Job, chapter one, verse six. Uh -huh. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, uh -huh. and Satan came also among them. Because he is the son of the Lord, he's an angel, right? And the Lord said unto, unto Satan, uh -huh. Whence comest thou? Right. Then Satan answered the Lord and said. From going to and fro in the earth, uh -huh. and from walking up and down in it. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, uh -huh. that there is none like him in the earth, right. a perfect and upright man? Have you considered my servant? Look at this guy, man. He's he doing what he's supposed to, you know what I'm saying? He can't read. One that feareth God and assureth evil. Uh -huh. Then Satan answered the Lord, and doth Job fear God for not? Don't he fear for nothing? Why? Has not thou made in the hedge about him? You protect this man. Of course he gonna of course he gonna be cool. Go ahead. And about his house and about all that he has on every side. Uh -huh. Thou hast blessed the work of his hands. Of course you blessing him. Obviously he, he, he content with things, he's not gonna say nothing bad about you, Reed. And his substance is increased in the land. He got all he got a nice house, he got all these good things, Reed. But put forth thine hand now uh -huh. and touch all that he has. Take all his stuff away, Reed. And he will curse thee to thy face. And I bet you he'll curse you to your face because you done took it all away, Reed. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he has all that he hath is is in thy power. Uh -huh. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. Uh -huh. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Uh -huh. And there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine right. in their elder brother's house. Uh -huh. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the ass feeding beside them. Uh -huh. And the Sabinas, the so like it. Go down, find out where his wife, That's, I want to skip down to his wife talking that, talking that hot shit. But the point is, Job was sitting there doing what he was supposed to do. You made a decision to do what you were supposed to do and walk with the Lord. And, just, and Job was doing the exact same thing. He was continually doing it. Satan said, okay, I bet you if you take everything away from him, I bet you he talk shit about you. You decide to go walk toward, walk with the Lord, say, oh, you, you trying to go follow the most high? Let me give you these boils real quick. You still want to go follow him? Oh, you still want to keep going? Let me let me hit you with the situation with your rib and your kid. You still want to? You sure you still want to follow God? That's that's that temptation. That's that fire that we're gonna go through, man. That's that bullshit. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is the book of Job chapter two verse nine. Uh huh. Then said his wife unto him. Said what? Does thou still retain thine integrity? Curse God and die. Do what? Curse God and die. Nigga, you crazy for trying to follow God or the Bible like that? But he said unto her. Thou speakest as, speakest as one of the foolish women speaking. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of God? And shall we not receive evil? So is it just one-sided? The Christian church will say it's one-sided. But it's both things. We're going to see good and evil in the most high world, man. Go ahead. And all this did not Job sin with his lips. He did not. He didn't do it. And she even says, like, now you saying that, it's like, you're coming back to me. She's like, God's going to get you. Like, not even doing that. Like, just saying, like, evil stuff. Like, I know the devil is using her. Uh -huh. And I just, like, I know a spirit using her. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You were wise enough to keep that. But also.
There you go. Yeah. With the boils? Huh? So 27 to 5? Oh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping to get the boils, but that's fine too. Because Job also got hit with boils too. Oh, yeah, you want that? Yeah, yeah, give me that, give me that too, Bubba Kashai. Uh, this is the book of Job, chapter 27, verse 5. Uh -huh. God forbid that I should justify you till I die. I will not remove my integrity from me. You got to have that integrity with the Lord at all times. Just because we get hit with some shit don't mean we lose integrity. Like, all right, hey, look. All right, here with boils. Cool. This ass. I'm going to deal with it. The Lord that took my house and my car. Okay, cool. It's fine. I'm going to deal with it. I got in a car accident. My leg broke in three places. All right, cool. I'm going to deal with it. I did something. At, at no point in time, that I put it to you this way, we currently where we are, whether we in this walk or we not, we walk in the judgment of the Lord. So when you see someone completely bugged out their mind to find to a wheelchair, that's a judgment of the Lord on, on them. They living out that judgment. That's what we're doing right now. Just because we fall in the, the way of the Lord right now, don't mean that we're not gonna catch up. We gonna we might draw back a little bit. That's on Him. But we still gotta catch that judgment. There have been brothers that I know that have caught COVID in this yeah, walk, in this camp, and have died. Lord willing, we see that brother, you know, rise up. The first the first in Christ, uh, the, uh, the dead in Christ, so rise first. Lord willing, we get to see that man again. You feel me? So we're gonna go through a lot of heavy shit, but guess what? Don't ever forget that we, it's not like we don't deserve it. We basically spat in this man's face and said, fuck you. We gonna, I wanna go after this, I wanna go after these guys. I don't care that you did these things for I don't care that you said that I'm going to get the Nile to Euphrates. I don't care that you killed all these Egyptians for me. I don't care that you blessed our people to be to be the best people on earth. Exactly. You done did everything for us. You paid the whole earth for us. But we turned our backs on you. So everything that we that we get that's messed up, we deserve that shit. At every point in, our, at every point in life, we deserve that shit. And what, and what you do at that, at that point in time, praise to the Most High. Thank you for that chastity. Pray, and pray that he can get you out of that situation. And then, of course, like I mentioned earlier, call your brothers, man. Because I guarantee you, like, look, we, we can help as much as we can. You got it? Go ahead. This is the book of Job, chapter 2, verse 7. Uh -huh. So when Satan forth from the presence of the Lord and smote Job with sore boils. With what? And smote Job with sore boils. That boils, right? Read. From the sole of his feet unto his crown. Uh huh. You see that? He had boils all over his body. Did he curse God to his face? Did he understand that it was from the Lord? Shit's going with going on with you, right? Right. You ain't curse God to his face yet, right? You accept you accepted the judgment? Then keep it pushing, my guy. He showed me recently, he was like, you gotta get you gotta bear fruit in this in this stony ground. You know, always. And I'm like, God. Exactly. You still got Tyrak 5? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this. I'm about to say, just, just keep it going. Because like I said, we, just to explain that real quick. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Take it cheerfully. He's like, all right, I'm getting chastity. Cool. The Lord still loves me. I'm doing something right. Go ahead. Be patient. You got to be patient. Just like you don't make rash decisions when you're in a low spot. Be patient. Read. For gold is tried in the fire. For what? For gold, gold is tried in the fire. For gold is tried in the fire. Are you familiar with how uh, metal works are done? So you take like a like an unrefined ore. So in this case, gold. It's lumpy. It's got a whole bunch of scale on it. Take it and put it in the fire. What that does is heats it up and it makes it malleable at that point. And all the dirt and the green things that are on there, that shouldn't be on there are also starting to loosen up. You then take that metal out. You take a hammer, put it on the anvil, and you beat it. You beat it, and you beat it. You get the scale off, you get the dirt off, you get all that, you beat it, and then it gets cold, you put it back in the fire. And then it gets and then it gets warm again, it gets to that glow again, you pull it back out, and you beat it, and you shape it, and you keep shaping it, you put it back in the fire, you take it out, and you keep repeating the process until you get the finished product that you want. So like, read that again. So right there, two and verse five. No, because gold is tried in the fire. Gold is tried in the fire, and what? And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And so is acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So when you're going through that fire, you get put in that fire, you're going to get removed, you're going to get shaken, you're going to get the dirt off, you're going to get the scale off, you're going to get whatever it is that you're going through, you're going to get it off, you're going to get put back in that fire. That's until right. the Lord wants to shape you how he wants you to be, man. That's right. But how you remain that way is you keep your integrity and you follow the Lord through all that. That's how you're supposed to go for it, man. Is amen even biblical? I know y'all don't yeah. hear y'all say that. It's biblical. I mean, y'all don't say that though, right? What yeah, y'all say, what's con mean? Con, that just means yes. Con. That just means yes. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, like, okay, you know, con, you know what I'm saying? You know, one guan. <laughs> one guan. <laughs> no, that's Shalom, my bad. The equivalent of being Shalom. Yeah. Any other questions, Ken? No problem at all. That's what we're here to do. We're here to uplift our people, man. We rather have, like, we get a bad rap for always cussing people out, things like that. We rather have this type of conversation every day of the week, man. Wow. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, that was the pastor? And, you, and guess what? You know what's going to happen to him? The Lord going to give him tenfold for cursing you to your face. It's like, that's why you going through your wife and your kids. And I'm like, also, I listen to what you're saying. I'm following your philosophy. And that's why I say, I don't, at that point, I'm just like, go oh, to the bad asses. Give me that. I was just about to say, give me that. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 from the top. Uh -huh. Woe be unto the past. What? Woe be, be unto the past. Uh huh. That destroy and scatter the sheep. That do what? That, that destroy and scatter the sheep uh -huh. of my pasture. Uh -huh. Saith the Lord. Woe to them. Woe means destruction. Destruction to that man and all these other pastors, man. That's foul as hell to say, man. And I guarantee he probably out there trying to get with the next man wife. Guarantee it, man, because they do nothing but foul shit up in the church. I had. I was to that. I was uh, My wife when she was a. She was a she like one foot in, one foot out. And uh, she was already showing signs like she was ready to escape. I'm like, what she already done in the past? Do that in, uh, what Paul says, if you leave, if you leave, if you let her stay, if she leave, let her leave. I didn't know if I was going to take off with them again, because she done it in the past over and over again. So this is the first time? Okay. No, this the first time. This is actually right now the first time she left. Well, I don't even know where she's at. She ain't even, like, okay. I don't know where she is. Like, even her family looking at right now. You know what I'm saying? Swear. Like, you know, okay. I, 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 that she not, like, I had a dream. I was reading them. You know how sometimes you, I hope I'm wrong. Right. I hope I'm wrong. And nothing happens. Um, but anyways, this is, uh, yeah, I had, um, uh, I had asked one of the brothers, like, man, I got a feeling. God was giving me a dream before she leaves. Okay. I'm giving a dream, and I'm like, no, not again, God. Like, and then she goes, boom, she'll leave. Like, again, like, she'll come back and leave again, like Hosea. Like, leave, come back again. I'm like, wow. Yeah. And so I had, um, I had the dream, and I'm like, and I was like, I started feeling like broken over my children again because I had dreamed about my children dabbling with, with all kind of demonic stuff, you know. And anyway. So I went to go tell the brother, I started feeling my heart breaking. I said, hey, bro, can you pray for me? He's like, yeah, man, I can see in his eye he was genuine and sincere. And he was like, yeah. And then I started getting weak. And I asked another brother, can you pray with me too? And then he's like, yeah. And then all I, had, I had literally like the, almost all the brothers started coming to me to the front of the altar. I was like, need a prayer. And then the pastor was like, yeah, yeah, you need prayer. You need all this other stuff. And then, you know, you got a devil in you, and then like all this other stuff. I'm like, I'm like, wow. Like before that, I prayed. God I was like, God, I don't want to. I don't know something ain't right in this church. This is the last straw when He showed me when He did this this last incident, and He started trying to like pray demons out in me, and all because I didn't. I can't even think of the word. Uh, follow His their tradition for as Thanksgiving. And yeah. I said, man, I ain't doing Thanksgiving. That part. I told him that, and he's like, why you do Thanksgiving? Why you don't do birthday? I'm like. Biblical. And then he was like, he was like, well, if you're going to attend this church, you want to do what you, you want to do these. What? these, these, these. Hold on, wait, what's, the, what's the name of this church? Because, <laughs> you know, it's been a minute. It's been a long time since the car at DTX, you know, pulled up on a church, man. It's been a long time. Yeah, and it's like, uh, it's right there in Mesquite. Okay. I'm about to say, if, cause, so that way it's not like on the camera or whatnot. You can like tell, tell us the name of the, of the church, like off camera, yeah, off camera, yeah, off camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and, uh, and I'm like, uh, I'm like, he get that like that's Old Testament, but he's always quote Old Testament the the the, 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 the uh, offerings and all that stuff. But mm -hmm. Like I was starting to learn the truth, and I'm like, this ain't matching up. You it's know, not. It's not matching up. I mean, you gonna follow the Old Testament or you not? Can't keep it. You can't serve two masters. Yeah, you can't do it. You don't want to go. 
They're, they're, they're finally there. Saving my beard. I was questioning his uh, questioning the Bible. All I had was a question. Like, why? He, he was getting mad because he couldn't answer. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. He was getting mad. He was throwing his hands. Like, he turned red in the face. Like, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, so, was he? Uh, Understood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. even better. That's, that's even better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Esau. 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 No way. It's a pride. Okay, no. Yeah. Let's say you can't read the football. But Esau, but Esau? That's expected. You know, that's expected. Hey, look, a devil's going to be a devil. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, this, I'm, 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 I said, this is a new journey I've been on just since, like, since last, the end of last year. So okay. Like, all this kind of transpired all right now to where I'm in right now. So, um, but I've been in, like I said, in the... Saying, we'll probably have your and, uh, this year. That's your this, you know, this color too, you know, it just, we had moved from the uh, uh, Basically, bacon. That was on the place I was trying to find a church. It was what I knew at the time. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever read the book of Acts? Yeah. You ever read, so you read Acts 7? I don't know it like y'all know it, like, like, far as like. I got you. Uh, read this real quick. Give me Acts 7 and start at verse 38. Actually, no, start at 48 and we're going to jump up to 30. Go ahead. Can you no, 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 I want, that, I want that first Timothy 5. First oh, Timothy 5, verse 22. Uh -huh. No, lay hands suddenly on no man. You shouldn't just go lay hands on brother. Same thing for me. You shouldn't just go lay hands on brother. Why? No, neither be for the of uh, other men's sin. Uh huh. Keep thyself cursed. So we can't just go laying hands on everybody. Like, him just like laying hands on like, do that. Like, nah. It's, 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 not, it's not what we're doing. Now, I will say this. If you got a powerful Levite, you know what I'm saying, that's round about you, yeah, man. Levi, they're doing that to God. <laughs> you feel me? Like, what are you doing was wrong? Like, like, literally, I can see the, the demonic, like, he just manifested himself. Of course. Like, he started pushing my head back, pushing my head Cyrac. back. Cyrac. Cyrac 12. Cyrac 12. Nobody else. But just me, because I didn't follow with all the, everybody else. You want to know why? Because you were standing up right while he was standing crooked. Give me that. This is the book of Acts chapter 7 verse 48. Uh-huh. How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples with man's hands. He don't made with hands. So I, no, you good. So the most high doesn't dwell in temples made with hands. You don't just you don't dwell in these church houses and none of that. Now give me 38. Right, verse 38. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angels. So like it. So that's verse 37. My okay. This is the book of Acts chapter 7 verse 37. Uh -huh. This is that Moses which said unto the children of Israel, uh -huh. A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you. you represent Deuteronomy 18 and 18. Read. Of your brethren like unto me. Uh -huh. Him shall ye hear. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness. Was there a built church in the wilderness? Read. With the angel uh -huh. which spake to him in the Mount Sinai. Uh -huh. And with our fathers who received the lively oracle to give unto us. Now, if there was no church building, what was the church? <laughs> us. Yeah. You in church right now. Man. That's right. This is church right now, brother. That's right. Even when you look up that, that word for church, Ecclesia, it means a gathering of Israel. And I try to tell them that stuff, and they said, I'm the one with the spirit of delusion. Nah. Because get... I don't believe what, like I said, I didn't believe it. Like I said, it was, it was like, man, and now, like I said, I'm there where I'm there right now. What's, what's that age old expression? Truth is stranger than fiction. You see what I'm saying? This is the world built upon lies, man. They, 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 they built all this up on lies and blood. So now when the truth come out, of course they're gonna get mad because it's messing with their whole kingdom. America is falling. This, the more that this truth rolls out, the faster this kingdom falls. You see? Give me that. Now it's Sharet Tashkara for the first Uh huh. Never trust thy enemy. Never what? Never, Never trust thy enemy. enemy. Never trust thy enemy, man. We got a lot of enemies out there. We got a lot of enemies of our people. The main one was that red devil. That was trying to tell you that you had a devil, but that's the devil calling the spade a spade, man. You see what I'm saying? The pot calling the the I would say the pot calling the pedal the kettle black, but I'ma just say, you know, I can't even think of that. Just just a red devil trying to call somebody a devil. See, that, that, you said what? 
There you go. We'll go with that. You <laughs> said white. <laughs> go ahead. So just like how, so just like how uh, metal will always rest, their wickedness will always wax worse. Read. Oh, 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 brother, let me let me help you spiritually, but you got a demon on you, brother. Let me put my hand on you so I can help you. Read. Gone, yes. Take good heed and beware of them. Beware of these people. Read. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou had wiped a looking glass. Uh huh. And thou shalt know that his blood has not been altogether wiped away. So his wickedness is still going to be there. Keep going. Gone, verse 12. Say him not by thee. Don't let them get close to you, read, or what? Lastly, when, uh, when uh, he has overthrown thee, he stands up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right the, hand. The, the, them, peop them people with the small hats, are they not in our place? Son, read. Let he, uh, let he seek to take thy seat. And thou at last remember my words, uh -huh. and be quick therewith. Uh -huh. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten by, uh, sorry, uh, that is bitten with a serpent? Are you going to pity a snake charmer if they get bit by a snake? You're not. You're playing with a snake, you're going to get bit. This, that's what happens when we wanted to befriend all these heathen. We wanted to befriend all these heathen, be closer to them, follow their gods. Where did it land us? And when we see you praise like all this right now, I had a dream, right? Mm -hmm. That I was in a circle around like all men, because they carry guns, right? They believe they carry what? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we no, it's a given. We in Texas. You know what I'm saying? They, they, but, like in church and everything, they believe it. A lot of Caucasian church or whatever. Of they, course. They don't, they don't believe in carrying guns like certain ones do. But this one, hey, you ain't taking it, you know what I'm saying? You got gotcha. you. And um, in my dream, I'm sitting around in a table and they all have guns and they all are Caucasian. Mm -hmm. And then here, here comes this little, uh, little devil comes up and he's putting his finger in my face and they're and like, like literally in my face. But I kind of see a symbolic of everything I was doing with because all okay. of it was just symbolic. I was in, in the midst of all of them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. I'm not sure how y'all think you got thoughts mm -hmm. on dreams no, no, and stuff no. like that. Well, I'm, saying, I'm, I, I'm not going to say that I'm a good interpreter of dreams. I be, if I'm not mistaken, the priest over there in the tent, he's a great interpreter of dreams. Oh, that's, cool. that, that's actually something that he's been blessed with. But from the sound of it, from that little dream, it sounded like the brothers he was asking to pray for you was those people round about. And that pastor, that little devil came and pointed at you, trying to call you a devil, man. And then I cussed him. I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> I cussed him out. Like, he was, and then I, that's why, like, because then I showed my wife this, and then she went and told him. And then, you know, they cussed and this and that. I was like, oh, man. I'm like, I know it's more than two than what y'all did. Yeah. Just that, the lack of understanding. And then now he's over there, you know what I'm saying? And now she, he's in her ear. Telling them how crazy I am and stuff like Kahan that. Come on off the scene, Shalom. Shalom! You know, so but that's how, you know, and then he even tried to get me to come back after he did all that stuff. Damn it, y'all try to get me to come back. Hey, about, I get said, my wife to come back too. I mean, my wife, the, the thing is that the, the, the stronghold they got on my wife, but all the women. They they they, 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 key with they each other. They emotional about it, you know what I'm saying, like in a way, and they always, can you even come back to church? Because my wife was like, let's leave at their church. But they kind of like, text her, and then she went back. And it, she didn't leave three or two or three times. I'm like, so I'm saying, what they just pray that she gets set free from that. But she was saying that while I was telling her, she was lined up with what y'all was teaching me, and I was, what y'all was relating, watching y'all videos. I was telling her, and she was making understanding. But like I said, all these, these doctors, doctors, when the doctors are yeah, in it's, head, it, it's a lot. I say it like this: the best thing that you can. Example five thousand two hundred twenty-six that shows that the so-called Hispanic man is the same as these niggas, man. We all the same. We all like to roll down the goddamn downtown with our windows down and playing our music. You can't tell me we're not the same people. You can't tell me we're not. But one of the best things that you can do. As her husband and as yourself, seeing is believing for the most part, right? A lot of times, especially when you're doing this, your 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 lady was like, okay, maybe it's just a phase, maybe you might go out of it. But when you stand firm, you keep going. Oh, this, this man is serious. He real serious about this. Now she got to think about. Now she got to think about herself. And then, so you got to be the example. So be that example of what it means to actually be a man of God, and just let that show. And let God handle everything else. You see what I'm saying? But any other questions, Kevin?
man. That's actually, I will stay here longer, but I can say I, I'm, I uh, have a contract and stuff like that for my job, and I'm trying to get off the Saturday, so I work on that shift, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And, um, but I say, yeah, uh, uh, after this, uh, what's it called? Let me uh, chop it up with y'all, give you my number and whatnot. Okay. But definitely take this flyer, bro. Appreciate it. And that also has the, the leader of the camp, or the leader of Dallas's camp, his number's on there, too. Okay. All right? Okay. But with that, I want to give Kahala, Benal Yahweh, Bashim, Mashiach, Malak Yahweh, Shai, pass it off to the next verse without speaking. Shalom.